Okay, so here is a front shot of the wound. And as you can see, what they did here is they put a rod, well, you can't see it, but they put a rod in my big toe to fuse it because 20 years ago when I got the toe joint removed, everything was great for about 20 years and then the bones came back together again and arthritis started. Then they broke all of these toes to make room for a Morton's neuroma that was in my foot, which is a technical term for basically um, a benign tumor that's growing in the nerve of your foot. Now the doctor here said that his experience is that they grow back if they just take them out. So instead of doing that, and it was quite big because when they filled it with fluid, it was like, I would show you like this big. Um, it actually um, just keeps growing back. So they, what they do is they broke all these toes to make room for the neuroma to grow in between the toes. But also you'll see at the x-ray at the end of my video that um, I may put it at the beginning too, so you have insight, is that um, these toes were starting to curve this way. Um, and it was just, actually, my feet were just a mess. Um, I'm supposed to get the other one done, but let's see how this one heals because this has been just brutal. So as you can see, there's the barbecue skewer that's basically sticking out of my toe. It is disgusting. And if you hit it on the wrong spot, it sends nerve pain through the whole foot, especially down here. I find the most pain I have walking right now is in this area here and underneath the foot in that area. Um, and then of course, if I accidentally hit that. Now I've been changing my bandage myself, like I said, every every three days. Um, but anyway, it's just awful. This is kind of where I'm at on the 23rd of September. I wanted to give you an idea that on October the 7th, they're pulling out this skewer and I hear they don't even give you freezing. So I can't even imagine how horrendous that will be. And it almost looks like, if I do a close up, it looks like they cut this toe in half. See that, it doesn't look like they almost cut it in half. It's really awful. And um, anyway, I just keep putting on the polysporin and rinsing it with a saline solution. And then I got a nice shower bandage for my boot. I'm wearing one of those air casts right now. Anyway, that's, that's the progress. It's quite awful. And I find by eight o'clock at night, I've just had it. I usually will take some THC oil, and some CBD oil, my sleeping pill, and just like pray to go to sleep because the pain is really awful. So I will say it does get better every day a little bit, but I also get these weird like Charlie horse pains in the bottom of my foot, which are really frustrating. Um, I don't even feel that it helps that much when I elevate it. Anyway, that's my update and I will keep you posted. Bye.